Hey there, everyone. That sexy nerd is back again. And uh, we're, we're here with for Death Battle. I thought this was coming out way, um, you know, way, sh way earlier than this. I thought it was coming out like July 9th or some crap like that. But here we are. And uh, boy, I'm, uh, this one's a little exciting because, um, you know, because I, I'm a fan of both. It's like Disney versus Disney now. Disney versus Marvel. <laughs> I mean, like Disney owns Marvel. I love Lilo and Stitch, by the way. I love Lilo and Stitch. Um, I, I've always loved that movie. And I tried watching like the the sub movies and the, the whatchamacallit, <coughs> the, what do you call it? The TV shows. And I, I couldn't get really that much into them. It was kind of like a little bit like Pokemon, but I was a little too old for Pokemon. I wasn't even into Pokemon that much. And even the only thing I would was kind of into was maybe the games. Like I would play the games from every once in a while. But yeah, you know, they, they tried doing that whole thing and it's always been a really good thing. A really cool uh, experience. Um, by the way, they actually have a ride at Disney World called Stitches Wild Ride. It actually replaced this horrifying ride, alien ride, that they used to have there. And it's the biggest travesty you've ever seen in your life. I mean, it's still a good uh, ride, I guess, or a good attraction for Disney World, but it was so much better back in the day, you know? It's good to be scared. But yeah, um, let's not forget Marvel. Let's not mention Marvel. I haven't even seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3 yet, but you know, that's because I'm saving it for the reaction. So I still also have to do Black Panther and a couple of other movies as well for this channel. But, you know, hey, let me uh, let me know what you guys want me to do, what Marvel movie you want me to do next as well. I mean, I, I, I know y'all are out there because I have 7,000 views on Doctor Strange. So I know you guys are out there. Um, but, you know, I, I hope I'm working on some more Transformers things. Hopefully I'll have the first, uh, the original Bayformers movie out. I'm only probably doing that one and Revenge of the Fallen. That's it. I don't know. If they become popular, then maybe I could watch more of them. But after that, after all these Bay Former things, I'll probably do Bumblebee or at least say Bumblebee for when the next sequel comes out. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's not not let's not discuss it anymore. I mean, I, I, we all we all know who Rocket is. So please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And let's do this thing, y'all. Stitch, Disney's Extraordinary ah. Experiment 626. Rocket, Marvel's murderous mercenary mustelid. Those are like weasels and ferrets and raccoons. You know, because he's a... Uh, just because you're cute and fluffy doesn't mean you aren't the deadliest thing in the universe. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. In the distant reaches of outer space, the mad scientist Jumbo <laughs> Jukiba was accused of illegal genetic experimentation. He took the game. I would never, ever make more than one. <laughs> Galaxy's most fearsome, most dangerous, most absolutely purely black hearted <laughs> evil creatures and smushed them all together. A great man with a vision. Persecute. <laughs> great man. Yeah, I, I had a feeling Wiz would like Jumbo by spineless know-nothing bureaucrats. The result? Experiment 626. Though you can just call him Stitch. <laughs> he did not. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> 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 After being slated for termination, Stitch escapes to a distant planet, Eard. Oh wait, Earth. Crash landing in the Hawaiian island of Kauai of all places. Hmm. There he'd be adopted by the Earth girl Lilo and went incognito as the ugliest dog ever. And despite his horrific upbringing, Stitch found he had a softer side, a love hmm. of Elvis and a kinship with Lilo, a devil child who didn't fit in, hmm. just like him. It wasn't long before Stitch was ready to do anything to protect buggy. his new Ohana from the alien threats coming to get him. And let me tell you, as a fellow mad scientist, Jumbo really outdid himself here. I've been meaning to dig deeper into Stitch's piecemeal alien biology for years. Really? First of all, his fluffy exterior is entirely bulletproof, fireproof, and nearly impenetrable. Oh, yeah. this comes with a really? catch. His molecular structure is so dense, he can't swim. 
Zuxi landed in Hawaii, of all places. Stitch yeah, can right. crawl on walls, hear a whisper from miles away, and scream so loud he'll blow you to kingdom come. He's strong enough to lift 3,000 times his own body Whoa. weight and can spin dash so fast he'll burst into flames. His eyesight is also incredible. He's got night, x-ray, and infrared vision and can even zoom in hundreds of times over. Really? Even better, he can hop loogies like a friggin' machine gun. His spin is conductive enough to short-circuit electronics, stick objects together like glue, and even dissolve solid rock. What oh, and he's somehow a genius, too. The dude knows molecular physics and can build entire mech suits and spaceships out of junk in seconds. You wouldn't think... Boy, I should have watched the show. Holy Christ. I had no idea he was so powerful get from his everything, but Stitch is a genius with a brain comparable to a supercomputer. The world's wow. most powerful supercomputer right now is Hewlett Packard's Frontier, which can make one quintillion calculations a second. Comparing Stitch to Frontier is frankly a massive lowball. See, Stitch was programmed to have Jumba's own intelligence, and Jumba's IQ has been compared to that of an entire galaxy combined. No. I have conducted my own genetic analysis to determine Stitch's alien progenitors. His DNA includes traces of the Manglioid of Meridian 4, the Goo Goblin Booger Beast, the People Eating Pus Monkey, the Deadly Disemboweler, the Boiling Tongueoid, and the Bottom Feeding Scum Sucker. It sounds like your ex-wife, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> no, wait, what the hell? That's such a messed up thing to say about her. Be better. I'm so disappointed in you. You can make those jokes when you start paying the alimony. Uh, well, Stitch's incredible buffet of alien DNA is supported by a power cell embedded in his body, fueled by the energy of two colliding planets. What? Huh? Colliding planets. Uh, are, are, are you coming back? <laughs> no. No? You. Okay. He's got a jetpack, freeze ray, grenades, and a Seismotronic 200, which can make sandwiches gigantic. Oh, and shrink enemies, that's, that's cool too. Stitch yeah. was a one-fluff army, and he proved it when everyone from the Galactic Federation to the dastardly Dr. Hamsterville came to pick a fight with him. <laughs> Including I all of Jumba's experiments. <laughs> yeah, 626 isn't just some random number. There are hundreds of these little bastards running around. I freaking hated that rabbit. That was one of the reasons why I stopped watching it, because, yeah, he's funny, but, oh, he's such a little shit. More troublemaking cousins to add to his growing Ohana. Though he had to pacify many of them first, like Slushy, who can create a snowstorm that covered all of Kauai. Or Richter, who can split the Earth in half and shatter planet-busting asteroids. Wow. And Jumba stated that Stitch was the most destructive, unstoppable monster the universe has ever seen. Even more dangerous than Holio who can create a black hole large enough to consume the entire universe. Speaking of black holes, no. in the anime, yes, there's a Lilo Listen. and Stitch anime, Stitch once piloted a ship carrying a supernova bomb strong enough to wipe out a galaxy and flew it into a black hole. It and the black hole both exploded on top of him, and he popped out no worse for the wear. What? You know, like, like you do. Another time he piped... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what the hell? Like, this guy could give SpongeBob a run for his money. How is this even possible? <laughs> okay, and also, Disney let Japan have an anime of their character? Oh, well, actually, Kingdom Hearts, so. Yeah, I think, actually, Stitch is big in Japan. Because I remember they were, like, like, they were, I think that's what boosted Kingdom Hearts 2 sales. It was weird. Piloted a ship to a different black hole in less than two minutes. It's unclear exactly how far this was, but the average distance between stars is about five light years. That means his ship would have had to have been flying at over one million times the speed of light. And when he's filled with love for his Ohana, the power cell inside Stitch surges incalculably. He used this to defeat like Dark Man, an experiment explicitly made to be stronger than Stitch, who had just defeated four Stitch clones on his own. And Stitch completely annihilated him. He knocked Whoa. Darken into outer space so hard he dislodged a city-sized space station. You know, like you do. He's even managed to worm his way into completely different Disney properties. Yeah. Oh god, we don't have another Deadpool on our hands, do we? With Stitch mm. around, Lilo, Nani, and the inhabitants of Earth couldn't be safer. Surf's up for everyone's favorite blue fuzzball of death. 
somewhere in the Black Mountain Hills of Dakota, there was a young boy named Rocky Raccoon. Rocket. Rocket. Raccoon. Rocket, not Rocky. That's the Beatles song he's named after. Well, really? I have wasted a lot of time on some very specific research. In fact, <laughs> it's just Rocket. Despite his startling resemblance to the resourceful dumpster diving mammal, Rocket ah. originates from the alien planet Halfworld, which served as an asylum for the criminally insane ruled over by alien humanoids. Along with many of Halfworld's cutesy inhabitants, Rocket was subjected to cyber genetic modifications by his overlords. All with the purpose of being Halfworld's warden. Ranger Rocket. Rocket's mutations make him smarter, stronger, faster, and tougher than your average garbage goblin. His cybernetic skeleton is connected to artificial vertebrae and neural implants, allowing him to dodge gunfire and laser beams, survive an explosion the size of a city block, and keep up with supervillains like Kraven and Venom. Alongside pals Lila the Otter and Walrus the... Mm, Lila. Yeah. Rocket battled the mercenary Blackjack O'Hare and Killer Clowns and saved the day time... Why is it that the weirdest characters in the Marvel Universe always originate in the Hulk storylines? It's always these cosmic characters. Like, did the Hulk just jump all the way up into space or something and it was like, Hulk smash Pewdie Asteroid? Time and time again, I bet you're wondering what the hell this has to do with Guardians of the Galaxy. In a convoluted editorial effort to reboot his character, Rocket mm -hmm. left Halfworld to become a mercenary and had his memories suppressed. After a betrayal by his otter lover, a different one, he has a thing for otters, Rocket was sent to jail. I was about Space to say. jail. And prison changes a man. Gunn was the Saturday morning cartoon character of yore. He was a villain, ah. cynical and hardened by the criminal justice system. The space criminal justice system. Rocket suffered not only from his penal servitude, but the trauma of his brutal genetic modifications and a lingering sense of alienation. It was in this personal hell where he'd meet a bunch of a-holes who would soon be his new teammates. Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, and of course, his best pal Groot. And together they were the guy Guardians of the Galaxy, defending the free peoples of the cosmos from all manner of alien menace. For a price, of course. Though unlike some of the powerhouses on his team, Whoa. Rocket's raccoon body is- I told you he's not a raccoon. He was created on Halfworld and is the last of an entire race of raccoon-like aliens. He just happens to look like an Earth raccoon. Don't lecture me on raccoons, Wiz. I'm an expert. Douche. Been fighting the bastards for years. Did you- He's an absolute douche wearing, wearing that hat, by the way. It's offensive. Who knows, their tiny little bandit masks are for reducing glare to enhance night vision. They can ah. hear noises as quiet as earthworms digging underground. And about two thirds of the sensory perception part of their cerebral cortex is devoted to their tactile impulses. That's why they grab shit with their tiny little hands. All perfectly suited to a nimble, stealthy glass cannon like Rocket. Yeah, cause he's a raccoon. As I was saying, Rocket became the team's resident grease monkey, specializing in all things technology and engineering. And fittingly, his specialty in combat is firearms. Yep, that sounds like my cue, Wiz. Rockets built giant yeah, mechs, cobbled cute. together random junk for an improvised flamethrower, and casually slapped together a bomb strong enough to destroy a moon. Oh, and he's got every kind of hand cannon imaginable. Pistols, machine guns, miniguns, rifles, rocket launchers, plasma guns, laser guns, and my favorite, the melon popper, where melon means head and pop means... Oh. That melon belonged to a Super Scroll, one of the deadliest super warriors scroll. in the Marvel Universe. With the combined abilities of the Fantastic Four, including the Thing, who survived a blast from the Power Cosmic that could split a planet in two. Yeah, Rocket's weapons are crazy, like the Rampart Armed Phasic Cannon, which utilizes cold fusion and could melt the face off the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. The same Thanos who is strong enough to survive a supermassive black hole four light years across. Okay. Came out with only light scratches. The very what? same purple Shrek who's battled Universe Busters and beyond like Thor, mm -hmm. Hulk, and Odin. If Thanos can walk through run. attacks from a dude who can shake the multiverse and Rocket's guns can hurt him, I'm gonna need one of those puppies under my <laughs> pillow ASAP. And similar weaponry to what Rockets use can operate. It's really funny because Rocket didn't even, did he even meet Thanos? Wait, yeah. I don't think he ever even met Thanos in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. He went off with Thor, I mean, not in the Galaxy, in, in the Avengers movies as well. He never met him. That's so weird. If he did, he probably would have figured out how to kill him, maybe? 
straight down to the picosecond, which is one trillionth of a second. He can access all of these goodies at any time from his orbital stash, a remote-controlled satellite that'll deliver anything he wants lickety-split. Rocket can zoom through the sky on his rocket skates, project force fields, teleport with a portable AI, rocket melt through skates. solid metal with acid, and even hack foreign technology. Anything from a prison to a planet to an entire galactic empire. Rocket's the most dangerous not raccoon who's totally <laughs> raccoon in the whole universe. And he's proven it with the Guardians. He's saved Earth at least 11 times, cured even the miles. planet of a lice infestation, and held his own against an entire world trying to kill him all at once. He even devised a plan that ultimately stopped Dormammu, the lord of the friggin' dark dimension. No wonder Star Lord really? called Rocket the greatest tactical mind he's ever met, even if sometimes he has a tendency to run in guns blazing. Batman versus Rocket Raccoon. Make it happen. Though he'd always be a wise-cracking son of a bitch, his time with the Guardians softened his edges. He learned to enjoy life again, and even made it back to Half-World to send that bastard Blackjack O'Hare packing. And even though he clearly Blackjack is one, whatever you do, don't call him a raccoon, cause there's nowhere in the galaxy to hide from this gun-toting mother -flarker. Data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! What the hell is that? Oh, that ship looks great. <laughs> this looks like a Kingdom Hearts world. Yeah, tell me this doesn't look like Destiny Island or something like that. Oh, give this guy a, poor guy a break. You smashed my ship, Flark Face. I don't know. I feel like Stitch has got this. Probably not. I feel like Rocket. Hey. What did you say about my mother? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm <laughs> You disgust me. survive that. Could, did you see how indestructible Stitch is? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Ohana meets family. Ohana. Huh? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Whoa. We're having a blast. We're having a blast. Okay. Yeah, no. Mm. Sorry, Rocket. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I was like, yeah, maybe Rocket might got this because if he could damage Thanos, but yeah, no, Stitch is really, really strong. For like no reason. Murdering ice cream guy wasn't necessary, Wiz, but a 
felt it was an artful touch. Though similar in many ways, Stitch and Rocket's fighting styles were polar opposites. Stitch was more than strong enough to tear Rocket apart physically, while Rocket's guns were powerful mm. enough to kill people even stronger than Stitch. So the question was simple. If both of them only needed one hit to win, who would get the killing Stitch. blow first? It all came down to speed. Rocket has dodged lasers, and his guns could operate down to the picosecond, one trillionth of a second. But Stitch's supercomputer brain could operate yeah. down to the quintillionth of a second, a million times faster, at minimum. And his ability to pilot that ship at over a million times the speed of light meant that he more than had the reaction speed to dodge anything Rocket threw at him. Rocket's tactical brilliance meant he could keep Stitch at bay with tricks for a while, but he couldn't reliably seal the deal. Despite being a little blue goblin, Stitch usually stays level-headed in a fight, whereas Rocket can be way more impulsive. And frankly, Stitch is probably even smarter considering he has the combined IQ of an entire galaxy. One Whoa. slip up from Rocket is all Stitch would need to end the fight. Rocket's arsenal was absolutely bonkers to be sure, but Stitch's superior speed, physical strength, and unbelievable intelligence gave him the win. Looks mm. like this Rocket's blasting off again! The winner is... The winner is Stitch. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Thanks. What? The Obito? From yeah, Obito. And Darth Vader? Why? Why is Darth Vader? Why? Didn't he go up? So no. I guess they wanted to give Vader a win, huh? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, isn't he going to kick the crap out of Obito? Like, first of all, if Kakashi couldn't beat Obi-Wan Kenobi, what does this idiot have? What, what does this idiot Obito have? I, 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 first of all, I've never even seen, like, most of Naruto. I've only watched up until Tsunade enters the picture, maybe a little bit after. I don't even remember what the hell was going on there. But, yeah, like... I already know that this guy Obito, he was a bitch because I saw that Madara, I saw that Madara thing. Um, I saw that Madara video, like, and he was such a bitch in that, in that thing. The Madara thing by CJ the Champ, and you know, you know, spoiled it for everybody. So whenever I'm, I'm not, not gonna be able to, to react to that one unless maybe down the line where I forget and uh, I have to watch it again to be reminded. So, but yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was a really great fight, you know. I, uh, <laughs> I I I had a feeling Stitch would win, especially after everything was was being laid out. But Rocket really looked like he could have won because of the whole Thanos cannon thing. But yeah, it 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 really does make sense, and especially since he's faster and smarter. Because yes, Rocket is a is a smart character, but he's not that smart. He's not like Tony Stark or or anybody else. Like I, I mean, he never. I, I don't think he ever went up to Tony Stark and went like, you know, ha, I'm smarter than you, you dumbass, you know, or something like that. So <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think the thing was fair or what? But I don't know. I had a good time. I had a feeling that Stitch was gonna win, even though I was kind of nervous about. I because again, I didn't know that Rocket had a, a thing that can kill Thanos. Hey, I, I feel like Stitch was just too much for him to, to handle. Honestly, get like handled probably a lot of these these characters. I mean, a, a lot of the characters on the show. Like, who wants to see Stitch versus SpongeBob? I do. Oh, I do. But yeah. Anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think, and what do you think they should put up next? So please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And get ready for Obito's funeral next time. It's like, come on. It's just not going to work.